We got a, uh, hey, we got oxygen not included achievement. Hey, distribute uh, 1,000 keys of oxygen using gas vents. Cool. I never look at these things. I'm sure some of them are probably pretty easy to knock out. Let me see game, and we're gonna ramp this all the way up so we get a big fat picture of our base. That is the title of the ones that withstand unlimited pressure. I don't know about unlimited, but yes. <laughs> all right, let's have them. Please sweep all this up. Actually, how about please with some priority, like an eight. And actually, this should probably be, oh, they are nines. They, they, they can't breathe down here. Oh, you know what? They can't breathe up here either, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter which way they go. Either way, they're not gonna be able to breathe. Let's go ahead and see, uh, buildings. So we'll get rid of, da, 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 da. good. 9.5. <laughs> there we go. Nice quick way to get all the way across. And then I'll put a door right here. Once we get everything done, we'll put a door right here. Just keep all that stuff contained about as best we can. I actually was thinking maybe I should go ahead and uh, uh, build another layer of um, of insulated right there. The answer is yes. Should I build Maybe build it straight across here on this side. Yeah, because eventually I'm going to core all this out. So yes, the answer is yes, for reals. So let's go ahead and do this. They can't reach half of these, actually, so that's going to be a little problematic. We'll see. I wonder how they're going to how they handle this, actually. Because none of them say the... Uh, oh, there it goes. It does say unreachable. Okay, so we have some unreachables here. I think if I put one right here, they'll be able to get all of them. Well, they can't stand on that. Shit. Oh, yeah, they can. They can stand on that and work. They can stand on the actual ladder itself. Um, higher than any other tile. Yeah, the, the, the amount of pressure that you get that insulated tile could take is pretty significant. So, yeah, it would, it would require a very tall and narrow basin uh, of water in order to actually make the walls buckle, basically. Apply pressure for it to buckle. But double insulation? Like... Yeah, it's I, I can't imagine this is ever going to uh, to have any issues. There's a flower in that memorial now. That's touch. Is there? Oh, this one here, <laughs> the thimble reed. It's like dying. <laughs> uh, oh, good, they did that. Excellent. Good. Double wall all the way around, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one as well. So we'll go extend this up. Thank God there's igneous rock all over the ground. It'll make it so much easier. I do need that, actually. The buildings you have built at the bottom of that basin could probably withstand limited pressure because they are buildings, but also modded, so I could be wrong. Oh, like, these down here, yeah, the, dra the drains aren't... I don't think they're going to really take any pressure. The only reason why I put the double insulation here was purely for insulation. I just don't want to have that, um... I just want to have that heat, you know, coming through. So I want to provide some kind of padding if I can. And then we'll eventually extend this maybe all the way up or something just to create... A, well, actually, all the way up to this would be a good idea. Like right up here. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll do... Because Abyssalite does a great job on its own. Can I get all that? Nah, let's cancel that one. Got one little chunk of gold. And then they can reach all the unreachable builds. No, I don't think that's true. What is that, slime? Oh yeah, that's not going to hold any kind of insulated value, so... They're still working on this. Yeah, the drains are a mod. Drains are a mod. It's like a necessary mod. <laughs> that's definitely a must-have mod. Okay. So, ideally, once all this is said and done, we should have a nice thick wall of of insulation from the top to the bottom here and wrapped around here. So that way we're keeping all the heat from this kind of just relegated to, to this area and then whatever over here. Like there's some more abyss light over here that's going to keep that thing from uh, leaking out. So yes, that's right. Thick. Oh, here we go. Get 
that done. Might as well go ahead and uh, plug this. No, let's not do that. Do need to, however, yeah, do need to. Okay. Oh, wait, do we have something at home? We do. <laughs> that was fate. Hatchling or bristleberry? Bristleberry is going to take a bunch of those. We have plenty of food, but. Yeah, we need to uh, get rid of some of this nasty water here, so. We can spread this out. Probably too much water still. Yeah, too much liquid. Maybe just leave it there. These need to be destroyed. I didn't realize, I, I saw the red and I automatically assumed that I had destroy orders, but they did not. And then the rest of this can probably be just carved out. Like if I just base, if I just tell it to, I mean, it's just like a one right now. Uh, they could reach, see one, two, three, four. So they could reach all the way up like this, all the way across. And that would do well to... Oh, I guess they're going to start it anyway. Isn't that, isn't that a one? Are we ready for this? Yeah, fuck, we're ready. Oh, don't go down there with all the hot water there! <laughs> God damn it! Alright, here we go. Fat globules! <laughs> what are they going in at? Let's see. Let's slow it down a little bit. Jesus. Slow it down a little bit, take a look. Uh, so, okay, so this is a pretty considerable amount of, of water, more than we were actually pumping in before. So it's, it's uh, uh, so yeah, we should probably lower this to like 100 or maybe 50, just to, th all this is there for is to keep this from, from, oh, you know what? Pipe block, that's bullshit. Oh, it's because of the water sip hasn't been uh, taken care of in a while. Um, yeah, we just need to, there's a slow trickle just to get the urine out, <laughs> so. Look at that. Oh, that is a thing of beauty right there. Oh god, they gotta keep- oh god, all the clean commands and everything. Mm, how about we just leave that down there for now? <laughs> yeah, we'll come back to it later. Now the next- the next uh, thing, yeah, we have to- have, we're gonna, they're gonna go through and clean all this out. And then we're going to get all this to start pouring down. Yeah, it's already blowing right now, so yeah, we want to get that started. Now it's dormant. Uh, of course it is. How do you cool off all that water though? So it's gonna go all the way up and around very slowly, all the way through insulated piping. It comes in at what what temperature? Let me see, it comes in at 143.2 degrees. By the time it gets over here, it's, uh, let's see, that can't be right. Oh, there it is, 136 degrees. So it's lost a few degrees. So it's transferring energy that way, which is not great, but now it gets over here, and this is where all this cooling stuff is going to start kicking in. I see that there's a problem here with this building not running because there's nothing here, so let me go ahead and actually fix that real quick. I, I temporarily did this to put mesh here so we could let some of that drain, and then, uh, and then you know, this happens. So let me see. Let me go ahead and put a mesh tile. We're going to make this an emergency because they need to get this done. <laughs> We'll do that. It's not going to fix this one, but it'll fix this one temporarily. Robo! Big old numbers being thrown around here. What up? Thank you so much, Robo. 52 months. What is today? Oh, shit. Yeah, we're about at that time, huh? Wait, is it 53 coming up or is it 52? 52. Boom, boom. Good. Good. Perfect. And they can work on that, too. This is not the best setup here because we're still going to have water all over the place, which is pretty gross, but I don't think they really care about water over there. Uh, we just need to get hydrogen to this system here, so this needs to happen. Anyway, so yeah, so the water comes through here and it starts to cool off in this uh, in this biome, which is going to cool it down from 100, was 141 degrees to 108 degrees, 190. It's fluctuating, but it looks like 108 degrees or so. Uh, once I have exhausted this biome, uh, I'm going to go through and run piping through this side of the biome and then continue until I exhaust that. So this is my method of uh, of cooling using your, you know, your available <laughs> ice biome. Is water on the ground on the pipe pointing uh, around? Is the water on the ground or from the pipe pointing at the ground? Can you be more specific, Juan? See, this is going. This is good. This is uh, not open yet, so let's go ahead and get that going. We'll see. Is this our 52 card? Oops. Well, it's not that much of an emergency, but we'll go ahead and let it slide for now just to get it done. Ah. 
Oh, you know what? No, because they're sleeping, man. It's fucked up. <laughs> we should we should go ahead and actually analyze this while we're waiting. How hot is it right here? 150 something degrees? I don't know if that'll ever get done. And then what we'll do is we'll we will just let the water just come down from here and just go straight down. But we will have to put an insulated um insulated wall going down here. Probably like right here, so it meets up with this abyssalite. Uh, that way we can keep that heat contained as well. There's a pipe leading to nothing before the coal biome. Uh oh, I may have broke a pipe somewhere. Oh yeah, that's an old, just old pipe. It, oh wait, is there? Oh yeah, I used to have a drain right there. That's right, I used to have a drain right there that would that would soak it up, and it was fine until polluted water got into the mix, and then that, that became a problem. Good, so that's working. So this thing's gonna put out its own uh, cool air here, cooling everything around it. So actually, should now that's running, that's gonna cool down the uh, cool down the liquid a little bit more. So now we're well, actually it's still pretty warm, 113 degrees. So it's not great. <laughs> it's gonna go in hotter for sure. But at this point, we're not even really using water. Look at that. I mean, this is a terrible pipe job right here, so ignore that. But we're, we're hardly even storing water. Like, this thing is storing water. Yeah, we're, we're using water about the same rate that we're storing it. But this is good. I mean, I don't mind. It'll just sit there and just cool off slowly. Look at Lindsay. Look at Lindsay. Go. Get it, Lindsay. Let's speed things up. Uh, mm, get it, get it. <laughs> Could take forever. And she's hurting too. She'll leave before she gets hurt, right? Low oxygen. There's oxygen there. There's a jukebox in game and you have it. No, I have not, because I have not made my uh I have not made our uh rec room yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Let's see, let's go ahead and let's make it too wide, so okay. That's uh, that's unnecessary, but I'll let it slide for a minute. Just to get those two pieces built. And then Oh my god, I just changed that, I thought. Nine. Oh, whatever, just build it. <laughs> Going to construct that, and then replace that with, uh, with one as well. And then we can put a door there. We put a door down here. I was supposed to put, I was put two. Just two, uh, oh, well, not that. Two of these. Uh, let's see. Thermal reactive, high thermal conductivity. We want, we don't want anything that is... Highly therm high therm we don't want high thermal conductivity or thermally reactive, I think. We just want just a door. <laughs> the copper, copper door. Two copper doors. And then we'll do the same thing here. Put a copper door. We do have to build a uh, a wall going straight down. Slightly more narrow, maybe, or we should cut it off. Just seal it off. There's no maintenance to be done down here. Should we just no? There's still some stuff to clean up, so maybe eventually I'll, I'll, I'll cut it off. But right now we'll leave that. We'll let that uh, let that stay. I think what I'll do is I'll cut straight down here. That way we can leave this side, or we can uh, uh, actually continue building this, insulating this all the way down, and get some of that gold there. There we go. And it still acts as all this to clean up all this nasty water, which we will eventually, and then we'll seal this off as well. I guess after we take care of this. Yeah, this 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 abyss light isn't really doing anything but keeping two zones that are of equal uh, temperatures, like from touching. <laughs> so, and we don't really care about that. We're not going to solve all of the uh, all the planetary warming, the global warming uh, problems like that. So we'll do this. And that water will fall down, then it'll trickle down, and blah, blah, blah. And then this should stay pretty... Yeah, that's pretty good. And then we'll break all this, and all this water will come pouring down. We're going to do it in a more controlled fashion. I'm going to cut right here and here. That way, it just falls straight down. I don't have to worry about any dupes getting, uh... Okay, well, except for Lindsay. <laughs> having any, we don't have to worry about dudes having dudes having problems. Thanks, Lindsay. So upset. Oh, taking damage. Actually, taking damage. But once, once we got this thing, like actually uh, mapped out, we know when it's gonna erupt. That's gonna help a little bit, I think. Thermal plate, all the things. That's an eventuality thing. That's a that's a 
That's a next week me thing. Yeah, look at all this heat that we're gonna start containing in here. But at least it's not polluting this area. And definitely not polluting this area. But this side, I mean, this was, for a long time, this was heating up everything over here. So I'm glad that we were able to remove that and actually move the, uh, basically all of my, all of my uh, heat generators, like, away, like, further away from the base. Because now I can, eventually I'll be able to use this space for something else. Or maybe, at the very least, just keep it from heating up this abyssalite, which will eventually heat up the base. So keep that away. What do we got here? Spicy tofu. All right. Now we need more people right now, but we're getting close. I was living in an active volcano. I don't, I don't think this is a uh, particularly dangerous by or uh, uh, asteroid. I don't think. Not like that. I think it's supposed to be like a relatively easy one. Can I actually reach that? I see that's four tiles up, but it's also one over. So we'll wait. You want to you wanna knock on some wood? Can I not really? I really can't reach that? Damn. All right, let's just put one, one ladder, and that'll solve that. Look at all of this wonderful water. All that water that's all going to move all the way to the other side over here. It's going to get cooled over here. Oof, man, look at all that green. We want blue. We don't want green. Does the material you use to make thermal blocks affect their... Th yes, it does, actually. Yeah. Lucky Abyss Light separating your base. Most, most, uh... Most starting biomes are surrounded by abyssalite, uh, but yes, there are plenty of situations where that is not the case. <laughs> so yeah, ooh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit over here, huh? And then of course the crude oil down here, that's just like stupid. So we're eventually gonna have to build some suits to go down here and explore, but right now that's not gonna happen. That's, uh, yeah. Not gonna happen. Mafic rocks, 23 degrees, so even down here it's pretty cold. So we're definitely gonna gonna destroy any oh what are all these things uh we're gonna destroy any cold any ice biomes that we could get our hands on the space is coming i think that 30 degrees fahrenheit better than negative 40 degrees celsius oh they still can't reach it uh what if i do this more if that's in the way i just want to empty this out there we go oh god Lindsay. Hold on! Quick! Emergency! Emergency! <laughs> uh, G... Uh. Oh! There we go! Now it falls straight down. <laughs> I didn't want it to pull right there. And then Lindsay's just like... <laughs> covered in scalding hot water. Alright, let me see. Can I... Yes, I should be like both those. Can you cool things off in space? Uh... I think you might be able to. Oh God, don't go over there. Come on. That's how people die. Please break this before somebody does something dumb. They move somewhere that I'm not paying attention to and then they <laughs> die to exposure. Get it, Wolfie. Yeah. Oh. She's still... Well, once she's done anal anal analyzing that, once she's done analyzing this, then I'll seal off this area completely. Until, until I decide to come back around and get this cool steam vent uh, analyzed, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe once we get suits or something. Anyways, yeah, so uh, cooling things off in space. Hmm. That's a, um, that's a tough one. Why is there shit water right here? And this is uh, atmosphere. Okay, yeah, it's not enough here. Hmm. Should affect how thermal. Yeah, so I, I don't, but I don't, oh, there is something here that's leaking. I wonder what that was. Oh, these things are actually not po Oh, wait a minute. There should be no reason why these things are not pumping out water. I wonder if I need to put a couple more, maybe replace these with drains instead of that. What kind of pipe is that? Cause it's making a mess. And we cannot have that. So let's go ahead and do this and this, and then we'll put a pipe or a drain right there on both of those. And that will keep, probably hopefully keep the mess from happening. It's not, it's this is the first time I've seen it. So I don't think it's, it's definitely not an ongoing issue, but uh, I would like to get it resolved before it turns into a bigger problem. Lindsay is subtly testing your patience. She's so close. <laughs> Analyze it, Lindsay. Speaking of, 
I have some shoots with Lindsay coming up. I'm planning it right now. Uh, I haven't actually told her this part, but uh, um, I'm going to be getting a... Um, well, I hope this all happens. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. But uh, yeah, she's real big into the Victorian theme. Everything Victorian theme. Um, and she pulls off the look so well. So she has so many props, already existing props that she can use. And so I'm, uh, I'm looking at at uh, some some bed and breakfasts and hotels that are Victorian themed in the in the city in San Francisco. And I was thinking of getting uh, some of those, getting like a room. Uh, was it March, like mid March, something like that? We were planning on shooting, and we made we made it a goal that we're going to shoot four times this year. Because we're always like, oh yeah, let's shoot, and then we put it off. Then we put it off. We put it off. We just like never come around to actually shooting. Uh, so you know, we want to like, commit. So we we committed to like once per quarter we're going to shoot. Lindsey Sterling, no, <laughs> no, uh, Lindsey Geektron. Sorry, Lindsey Geektron. Did you see that? Did you see what Hugshot just did? <laughs> Hugshot just broke a bridge, like took a, deconstructed a bridge, and then in midair, he grabbed some, uh, some material from that bridge as it was falling. Man, what a stud. What a stud. All right, here we go. We should have no water. Oh my God, water is leaking everywhere. <laughs> what is this coming from? Why? Wait a minute, do one of these have liquefiable? No. Organic. What's the organic? Algae, eggshell. Okay. Should have none of those, but let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll. No, 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 no. Copy settings. Okay, so nothing came out. So it wasn't that. Oh my god. But no mesh tile. I guess. Yeah, I guess it doesn't. It doesn't. The the um the drains don't suck it up fast enough. No. Uh, I don't know if they can handle dirty water. I'm definitely going to clean that up. Uh, here's what I think I have to do. I think I have to replace. Let me. Re hmm. So first, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and cut this out here, this uh, this ladder here, and replace that with tiles. Then I think I'm going to have to put a, a series of drains at the bottom here. So basically, let me go and map this out for you guys. Because this is, this is going to be an ongoing issue. And I think it's because we're using more power now. So basically, I'm going to do this. Um, and then I'm going to line the top with mesh. That way we have more coverage. It's going to sit in a basin. And then it'll be able to catch all of that. And we'll just fill this in with like, you know, we'll put like a thing here and... Um, we'll move that pipe somewhere else. So we'll say pipe from here, and then we'll get rid of this pipe between here and here. Yeah, I think this is the way we're going to have to do it. Uh, Holy Dragon, yeah, it's a mod. Morning, Zeno. Oh, yeah, gross. We're getting nasty water down here. All, all the way across, actually, we're getting nasty water. we got to have them mop that up. Yeah, I, th I, I figure that maybe as it drips, it'll just get picked up. But it's clear that it's dripping out too much for the rate at which it uh, absorbs liquid. So it's putting out more than, I guess, 100. Uh, wait, what is what is it per per pipe? Let me see. Let me catch one of these as it comes out here. There we go. So this puts out 70 and 51. God, I feel like this should work. This is really weird. Objects in space cannot cool off by thermal conduction or convection, but they can cool off by radiating infrared light. <laughs> My, hey, say, say reaction, Tord. Oh, okay. <laughs> Neat. I was just going to say that. All right, drains. We'll put another drain here. Uh, gotta stay on top of this mopping. Gotta stay on top of this mopping. Can't let it get away from us here, guys. Can we get that too? Ooh. That's gross. And then pressure. Pressure, huh? Oh, atmosphere. Okay. They didn't really mean pressure, right? Air pressure is low. Gas pressure. Oh, you know why? Because there's not enough um, carbon dioxide down there, which is great. That means there's not enough carbon dioxide across the whole fucking base. Okay, good. So all those are built now. We're good. Let's go ahead and kill that. And then we're going to go and boom. We're going to deconstruct all of the buildings. So all the way across here. And then we're going to replace it with mesh. Can I just paint mesh over the top of this thing and just be done with it? Furthermore, can they? Yes, they can. Okay. Uh, so mesh. God, I use some resources. So the mesh. Oh, cool. I can just do that. This should help. 
Oh, and also the, yeah, we have to run the piping uh, to it as well. So we'll go, uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's taking a picture. Okay, let's go turn that off. There we go. Won't lack of CO2 cause O2 generation problems. No, because I'm generating oxygen through other means. Deoxidizers, electrolyzers, basically I'm converting algae into air, I'm converting, uh, or oxygen, I'm converting, uh, water into oxygen, which is why I have a nice little pool of hydrogen kind of building up up here in, uh, in the space areas. Oh, cool, we got it. Dormant. Uh, analysis complete, and it says... Oh, it's supposed to, uh... Oh, it's all down at the bottom. Sorry, I, f I forgot that. I thought you clicked on the button and it showed you here. I thought that's the way it worked, but it's been a while. Uh, let's see. Rush period 471 seconds every 768 seconds. Active period 56.3 cycles every 82.8 cycles. So, wow, it's going to have 80 cycles of downtime, and it still has 20 cycles until it's active again. God, now I really want to know what this one is, so I know what the uh, the balance is. But as long as it keeps this thing from draining completely, we are good. Like, forever, actually. We'll never use more than that. And this looks like it solved the problem. Beautiful. My weaning off oxifer is not at all. The oxifer are still super valuable. I mean, I, I am, however, going to go ahead and deconstruct that tile just so they could get down here and mop this up. There we go. Get it, 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 get it. As more water poison, get it, whoopie, get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> it's just, Don, Don is in there now furiously trying to get it. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. Now, now, now it's good. We just needed to, uh, <laughs> we just needed to clean up that dirty water that was there. Now we're totally good. <laughs> They're just in there just like, the water keeps coming, I don't understand. Great. And this should be enough. You could see it pulling in inside of here now. Uh, but it's also going to be coming straight out and then dumping down here into the gigantic vat of nasty water that will eventually pipe out and uh, and clean. But not right now. Actually, what is the temperature of this? 109.9 degrees. Do I see any value in running it through this? And then splitting it off or something. And then having it go somewhere else. Because this is not really getting anything, right? Like, we could pipe it in, we could pump it into the same pipe, technically. And it would just split off. And right here, it's just going to split off, anyways. See, just pump dirty water into there. Hmm. The vat of shit water can eventually become your, your Paku food source. Sushi for everyone. Oh, you know what? Yeah, that's a good point, too. Huh. Okay, so this is done, so we can go ahead and, uh... I mean, this thing's erupting right now, so... Let's go ahead and seal this off. Keep some of that heat out. And do this as well, here. Do that top one. Do the top one! Can they reach the water... the water bottles? I believe so. They're not gonna reach anything that's in here right now. Oh, yeah, they go through the doors. They really need to. The bottler is a bottler here that goes dumps dirty water straight down, and then there's a bottler here that drops plain water into here. Just a nice little balance right now. Can they reach that from here? We'll see that there for a second. Just let it go. Under the oxifern. Uh oh, that water bottle. Nope, that's forever. <laughs> Actually, might be able to empty it out from there. Yep. Oh, there's one right there, too. Perfect. Okay, I guess it's gonna sit there for a minute. How we do on, uh, heat containment? All this rock is so hot right now. <laughs> um... Oh, that's like coal. Yeah, you know what? This is- there's coal and all this stuff here. This is not going to do a good job of insulating anything. So maybe, maybe we do have to, uh, build this ladder up in order to reseal this. We'll do it from the inside to reseal this with, uh, better material. So yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, 
to construct this and this. This is basically a forever setup because we're never going to run out. This steam vent's going to continue pumping out water, so this is a forever thing. I'll leave those open. I need snazzy suits. Yeah, so let's do this. Ladder up to about here. Cut all this out. Cut all this. Is that... I think it's wherever there's abyssalite we'll leave alone because that's just free insulation, really. I'm cut this. Mm. Is that abyss? That's phosphor, right? Okay. Oh, there's abyssalite uh, over there, too. So we'll do this. I wonder if I should uh, leave this open just temporarily so that way she can go over here. Uh, Lindsay could go over here and uh, take care of this. Which means I would go... Uh, you and you off. And then she could jump there and go up there. Yeah. Put a door to keep the heat out. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna happen for sure. Uh, let's see. Actually, no. I was gonna insulate that. The door right here is keeping heat from this area getting over and all the nasty air. Scalding. Is that phos it's phosphorite? Oops. Yeah, it's super hot over here. So I see why they don't like working up here. New printables available. Gotta keep on. It's a nutrient bar. Great. Oh, Lindsay. Look at she's already here. Look at that. And they could climb like kind of up and around. I don't think they could get this one though. Can they? Un oh, it's unreachable. So what is that made out of? Metal ore. It's fine. We don't need that. I believe. Yeah. Do one more there, and then she could go up there and uh, start doing some analyzing and it's clear that she could manage that they could oh god you don't have to you don't have to do all that right now Lindsay oh my god is she gonna stay there till she dies or something oh my god this is like a low priority oh my god she's gonna stay over there till she dies no 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 oh that's why okay let's go ahead and cancel that analysis or make it a one or something that's not to make her go away cancel the analysis get out what is she doing Fucking move! Move away from there! Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> Fucking dupes. Yeah, I need a legit med bay for reals. Let's, uh... Let's get Lindsay in here. Sorry, Boots. <laughs> You're out. Lindsay's in. Working over here in this, uh... In that area is definitely not helping me any. Not doing me any favors. ER stat. Don't worry, I didn't get her. Uh, like right now. <laughs> like get. Let me see. Assigned. Somebody pick her up and bring her. Thank you. Oh, she's gonna get up. She's gonna take care of herself. It's fine. What? She? Where, where is she going? Where did she go? never checked in she's like she she just she just got enough care to to basically stand up and then she's like all right now i'm out of here one determined woman they'll probably took took her iphone and she's off to get it she yeah she doesn't want to to wait for anything i'll wait till this is dormant when this is dormant then i'll come back over here the temperature will drop there enough but at the very least we could go in and start to uh put some more insulation in here was that uh it's abyssalite okay what am I making this out of? Ah, it's fine. Two layers is enough. I don't, I don't think it really matters what the, uh, I don't think there's enough heat. If this was like a hot, like a hot water vent or something like a geyser or something, then I would probably use, I'd pay more attention to what material I'm using to make the, uh, the insulated tile, but I think for this, it's fine. Have a good night! I'm Tavoris, and thank you so much for the bits. Definitely gonna go towards a new, uh, headphone amp. That way we don't have these problems anymore. So stupid. The left channel just suddenly stopped working. No work and plenty of downtime just to heal them up. Yeah. Then I'll forget. She's doing okay. But yeah, you know, you're right. I should definitely do that. But she's fine. She's fine. God, so many, so many, 
hurt folks. We can go ahead and do this one as well. Extra layer all the way down. That'll do a good job of keeping that contained. Sick dupes only make food. <laughs> you got your sick dupes cooking? <laughs> What's wrong with this? Body temperature. How hot is it over here? 86.4 degrees. Boy, that's picky. Not that high. Oh, you know why? Because it's getting the heat from this thing. That doesn't help much. Scalding. Yes, yeah, boots. Yeah, he's fine. That's fine. It's just boots. There we go. All right, job done. Let's see. Now we're going to go ahead and seal this off. And then we'll unseal it once uh, once this thing goes dormant. Oh, it's over pressure. How funny. There's plenty of room down here to expand, guy. Okay. Love being picky. Don't go on the other side. Don't go on the other side. Don't, like, magically go to the other side. Don't do it. There we go. All right, we're good. Great. So that's some temp shift plates on that? On the, on the whole thing. <laughs> okay. So, we should start to see this area over here start to cool off because the temperature over here is 73. I don't think, I don't, what is the energy transfer of this thing? Uh, thermal conductivity. Okay, it's like basically none. Does that mean that it's just not going to put out any, or not going to transfer heat at all? Hence the reason why we use, or leave the abyssal light alone. Uh, whereas this is thermal conductivity. Yeah, I think that's right. So I guess, I guess that means that this abyssal light is not going to cool what's in here. So we'll just see what happens over time. Meanwhile, our water supply is looking fucking perfect. Abyssal light does not cool. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, hammer us up and chat. I had my top two wisdom teeth taken out. I can finally eat soft food again. I still have all of mine. I can't imagine. I, I, I have had teeth removed, though. Uh, like that, like way back there, they get in with like a chisel and stuff. Did they, did they knock you out or did they uh, just numb you up real good? This is going to fill up faster than I thought. So these guys have a problem with atmosphere because they're not getting enough uh, carbon dioxide. Plant is immersed in water. Okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and disable the auto bottle here. Uh, so that way they're not moving all the water over here. So we are actually adding a little bit too much water to this area. Uh, I think if we go ahead and actually just mop too much liquid. Thanks, mop. Nope. Stop fucking using this thing! <laughs> disable building. There you go. That'll do it. Okay, we'll disable building uh, now. There we go. Knock me out. Entire procedure took 20 minutes, but my happy ass was asleep for an hour after. Oh, that's great. I think that these things will eventually use the water that it's, uh, that it's sitting in, and then they'll start working again, but there's not a whole lot of like, I mean, there's oxygen down here, so it's not like they're missing out on, on processing any carbon dioxide for the time being, so I think they're fine. How is that biome doing, by the way? So much for our mesh setup. I thought for sure that would help eliminate some of this drip. Well, maybe I still can if I just put a build order for... God damn, I don't want to waste resources on that. Waking up, talking shit to the nurses. Oh, it's funny getting on now. <laughs> Should record it, man. Get on America's Funniest Home Videos. Yeah, so this is 119 degrees. So because the globules of water that we're pulling in is still a little bit too big, um, we are... Oh. Are we actually getting backed up over here too? We might have a problem with that being backed up soon. So I may have actually put too many drains in, is basically what this means. I wonder if I should go ahead and put a, uh, let's see, right here. We'll just put a, a valve and we'll lower the amount of water that we're transferring. Because we're getting full over here too. So yes, that's what we'll do. This is going to be a balancing act, I could tell. So we'll put it just a, just a low-tech, regular valve here. In line. Uh, let's see, in and out. And then we'll snip that. There we go. Though she get that bit built for. What are they going for? Oh come on! Nobody. Nope. But fuck. Okay, you can go out. Just don't go in. There. 
There, not a problem anymore. <laughs> they have to they have to walk by Puffy's grave every time. Oh my god. There we go. Okay, so how much liquid is coming through right now? 2800 or something like that? Let's see. Let's let it get let's let it get get build up here. Are we actually getting a full pipe of like a full pipe of water from all of these? Oh my god. The spice! Thank you so much! 31 months. Uh we're gonna lower this. Like a lot, actually. Uh, let's let's bring it back down to manageable. This is why that biome's gonna melt so quickly and why the water's coming out so freaking hot. So let's make this uh, 1800. So we'll slow the water down there. They'll, the dupe will come down and they'll check that out. So we'll see the water build up here, which is fine because they'll just continue to sit in here, which is fine because we have lots of room for more water to be added to this mix, which is great. And then you can see, yeah, so this is gonna back up here, but at least it's gonna let through smaller globules of water. And then over here, we could go and open this up to where it was before, which was 200. That way we could alleviate some of the pressure uh, that's building up in here, which will eventually and inevitably uh, actually back up this entire system. Yeah. So. Yes, yeah. What's the name of that mod you're using to snip the pipes? Uh, Disconnect Utility Networks. I don't know if that's the name of the actual mod. Can I see the mods from the screen? I cannot. Uh, Disconnect Utility Networks is what it says when I hover over it. So if you look for that, that might help. Um, yeah, pliers. Oh, pliers. Maybe pliers will be a name to search for in the, uh, the workshop. So I don't know if that's helpful. Unless you find it, in which case it was helpful. So this water should start clearing up a little bit. This is trickling through a little bit slower, which means the water that comes out should be, I mean, like, look at this water right here is 131 degrees. So yeah, that's unacceptable considering we are, we are melting this biome at a, probably a stupidly rapid rate just to get what, 135 degree temp water out? That's not worth it. But over here, we have water that's now chilling at about 118, 105, uh, 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 maybe not chill, but definitely colder. I wonder if I should go ahead and since it's coming by here, put one radiant right here. Just one. One radiant pipe. Let me see. Radiant pipe. Liquid pipe. Let me see. We'll make it out of something that is high thermal conductivity. Overheat temperature. Not the word overheating. High thermal conductivity. is aluminum. 50. Let's do it. Put one. I think that was two. But that's fine. How much heat are those natty gas gens producing? They're running quite often now, aren't they? Let's, uh, we'll do two and then we'll replace, nah, we'll just do one. There we go. And let's make that a now thing. So before they finish that, let's take a look. So the water that's going through here is going from, uh, 146.3 degrees, 146 degrees to 142 degrees. So it drops about four degrees the second it enters this thing and goes by this machine. But if I put radiant pipe there, it should drop it a significant amount more. And because the machine is the one that putting out the actual, um, generating the cool air, it should, like, it's not going to melt. It's not like the snow that we're, like, passively cooling everything down. It should, like, the machine is going to continue running as long as we have hydrogen going to it. We have lots of hydrogen. Okay, now, the water's going through. What do we say? It was 142 degrees coming out. It's 108 degrees. Great. It's probably going to put out a lot of heat. We should start to see like a heat build up here if we fast forward a little bit. We should probably start seeing this thing start to heat up right here. Very slowly. 55. You can see the heat. Yeah, 56. 54. Good. Now, now the water that's coming out is what? It's 65 degrees. Look at that. Look at that. We've solved our, uh, we solved the problem with one piece of radium pipe. One single piece of radiant pipe in the entire loop. Oh, the water is nice and cool. Good. The water over here is still pretty hot. Now, the reason why I want to cool that water even more is not so much so they can, like, bathe in it or something, because I don't really give a shit about how hot the water is while they're bathing, it seems, uh, within reason. Um, but if the water is going to come over here and it's going to be stored, it's going to be stored at, like, 100 and something degrees Fahrenheit, right? All that heat is going to basically radiate from these storage facilities. Uh, and because... It's just tons and tons and tons of just hot water. It's never going to cool. So that's why I have the insulation here, because I was kind of planning ahead for this problem. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, look, like this this temperature of this liquid reservoir here, this one right here has been actually had water in it, is what, uh, 85.5 degrees. And the one up here is 78 degrees. So you see already it's making a seven degree difference. And all that adds up when you have like six of them that are going to be full of hot water. Could give them a bathtub, they could bathe in hot water. Yeah, all that's coming. <sighs> I appreciate that you guys are advocating for my dupes though, man. Appreciate that. Dirt. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take dirt over people. Sure. <laughs> I could get another helping hand or dirt. Hmm. 